What's up guys, it's Brancor, welcome back to another vlog. And today is a chill day, so yeah, we're gonna go to Walmart. Body spray of the day, Deep Woods, let's get it. We're good. Yeah, I'm at racetrack right now, gas station, let's go. Here we go. Here it is. And now we are at Walmart, so yeah. Got some Siete chips, they don't have seed oil, so that's good. Look at the toilet seats. Nice. Checking my items out. Oh my goodness. My schedule came out and it's messed up like crazy. As you can see, if I pull up a picture, um, it just, it's messed up like crazy, dude. Like, first off, I never asked. Oh no, I did originally ask for Ace Global Perspectives, but then I talked to him about like, not having it for next year since, you know, that's gonna be so much on my plate. I'm also doing three dual enrollment classes, so it doesn't really help the situation. So if I were to go by the schedule, I would have first period ACE A-level history, uh, ACE A-level global, and then English for honors, which I asked for ACE A-level literature. And then that's not the worst part. The next day I would have to show up for one class, but it would be six period, it would be culinary three. So, first off, I'm gonna drop culinary three. I'm not gonna go just for six period. I'm not gonna wait that long in a day. Second off, I text my counselor and I'm gonna try to make it so I also drop global perspectives and I'm not doing global perspectives again, even though I already just did it as a capstone class for my ACE diploma. I'll maybe replace that with the English period, like for English four or ACE level literature. It's not really making sense. I'll just pull a picture of how I want my classes to be. It's basically gonna be two classes. It would be ACE US History A-level and ACE Literature A-level. That's all I want. Cause I'm, ar I'm also doing three different classes online. So yeah, I'm not gonna have six classes. That's, that's, that's actually insane. So yeah, hopefully this gets resolved. I'll, you know, I'll provide more information. Luckily it's early on, you know, it's not like school starting this week or anything. We got a couple weeks, so. That's good. Anyways, let's eat some lunch. All right, so here's my foods. Pretty healthy, some tacos. So yeah. Guys, Halo Top ice cream needs to shout me out, dude. 310 calories. I eat this like whenever I do crave ice cream, at least nowadays, I'll eat this because it's a little healthier option, less calories. 310 in this whole pint. Usually for a pint, like let's say Great Valley or Breyer's ice cream, it would be around 600 something. And this is for the whole thing, 310. It's not just per serving. So. Yeah, honestly, shout me out. Hey, hit me up. Brancor flavor, maybe. I don't know. All right, as I watch UFC, because it's about to start soon for UFC 304, I'm going to be eating some Siete grain free tortilla chips with lime. These are made in avocado oil, so no seed oils, none of that bullshit. So, yeah, that, that's going to be way better for me compared to, you know, having seed oil lays or whatever. So, yeah, how about me eating these? Not feeling guilty. Also, these taste super good too. Also, here are my UFC predictions for tonight. For Pimblet vs. Green, I got Pimblet by Decision. For Blades vs. Aspinall, I got Aspinall by Knockout Round 2. And for Edwards vs. Mohamed 2, I got Edwards by Decision. Alright, I'm going to end it here. I know it was a very short vlog today, but tomorrow, I'm hanging out somewhere. So, yeah. Either way, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below for video ideas, and best of all, peace.